Welcome to rotations where we're going to be rotating around a point that is attached to an object. So our object over here is a triangle and our point, our rotation point, is indicated as this red dot. So the question that we are trying to do is we're trying to rotate this object one quarter away, a ways around in the clockwise direction. Okay? Now, where the rotation point is key to how to make proper rotations. Now, as you can see, it is attached to the object. So think about the rotation point as a pin. This object, this triangle, has been pinned right at the corner. And if you think about it, if I have it pinned down, I will be able to spin the object around clockwise, going like this. And this corner will never, ever change. It will always be pinned in the exact same spot. And that's what we have to think about when we're doing rotations. Now, for this, we're going to have to draw it out. And we only want to spin it one quarter around the uh, rotation point. So, one quarter turns is equal to 90 degrees. All right, so 90 degree angles are very, very important. Now, the way you could do this is you have to understand that uh, each of these angles or lines on the triangle is going to have to form a new 90 degree. All right, so we're going to start with the bottom here of this triangle. All right, in order to figure out where it's going to be clockwise at 90 degrees, a quarter turn, you have to make a 90 degree angle from the rotation point. And this is going to be going down because if we were to draw this, it has to come downwards if we're going to rotate it. And as you can see, the length of the triangle is four squares. Okay, so there is our first 90 degree angle. So right now, this represents this line is the back or the bottom of the triangle. Now, we could also use the top. So we're going to use the, sorry, this side part of the triangle. And now this part of the triangle has to rotate 90 degrees as well. So if you think about it, it's going to rotate down this way, going 90 degrees to form a quarter turn. So as you can see, it's moving a quarter ways around. So that part of the triangle is now attached over there. And finally, we can almost do a connect the dots. The other part of our triangle, which is the blue part over there, is going to be connected on this side of the triangle. So, as you can see the rotation points, as I'll show you again with the blue and the red, the red will make this 90 degree turn that rotates around like this and it will end up right there because it made a 90 degree angle. So that's the origin and this is the end, 90 degree turn angle. And we could do the same thing with our green line which was a 90 degree angle from above up here. If that rotates down a quarter turn, it's going to rest over here. And now we finally have our object which is rotated a quarter length away.